All right, what's your name? Uh, Alan. All right, go ahead. Yeah, I was just wondering, like, when you guys, like, are making a new record or when you're trying to make some songs and stuff, do you ever find it hard to, like, figure out, like, balance between, like, what the fans want, what people want you to play, and what you're inspired to, like, do? And how do you cope with that? Like, how do you find the direction to, like, just do what you were inspired to do instead of what you know can, like, make the record companies happy? Or maybe make you, like, you know, a little bit more money? No record companies this time, man. <laughs> so you guys have no label now, huh? Mm-hmm. Not That's right now. That's awesome. That, that... All right. In, in uh, fear of sounding... Um... <laughs> I didn't mean to stump you, man. No, you're not. I just, I'm trying to, uh, how I'm going to sound like the least dickish. Um, Be a dick. I don't care. Um, like, this is the first record. Um, so I did an interview for the, this uh, just recently, and a uh, it, similar question kind of phrased differently, but they're like, what would success be for you? And I said, it's already a success, because this was, that was never going to happen. So this record was something that was never going to happen and just it being done and being done our way, the way we wanted to do it is a success. Now everything else is just, you know, whatever cliche you want to use, icing on the cake. If you like it, awesome. I hope you do. But at the end of the day, uh, I think my favorite part of this record is we wrote this for ourselves. Um, And with the hopes that other people like it instead of you know I don't I don't think we completely wrote the other records for other things but there's all these like you know like these uh nagging um, nagging things in your head like going like are people gonna like it or is the label gonna put it out are we gonna get enough of a push for the single and and with when you do your own record and you pay for your own record and you are doing it for yourself all you care about is Am I happy with this product? And I think that's the the balance, you know. And I think the one cool thing about LBC for the last you know twenty years is um, the more I, I think you know people like what we do, our fans do, our fans do, and so uh, hopefully it translates over. I, I don't think we try to alienate anybody, but I think we really just try to do this for ourselves. Am I? What do you? Yeah, yeah. Let I me mean, have some other. <laughs> no, that sounds about right. Uh, I think you know. James asked earlier if, the, if it's terribly different from the other stuff that we did in the past, but I think we've been just like moving up a, a little bit at a time, so to us it doesn't seem any different than what we would always write. You know, we wrote songs when we were on a major label. We got signed because the songs we wrote for major labels were kind of like pop rock tunes that fit in three minutes and 15 seconds, and I never had a problem with that. I mean, I like uh, I love listening to garage rock and punk rock, but I like... Uh, pop music, I like well-written songs, I should say, you know what I mean? So if a song happens to be, uh, th- you know, three minutes with uh, three catchy choruses, you know, uh, that was never something that we were afraid of. Um, I think now, though, it's just, uh, yeah, we don't have to, we just have to make ourselves happy first, and I think um, it was it was good for us to get away from all of it for a while so we could do that.